Welcome back to another live stream here on twitch.tv slash Asuma. I'm getting all set up. Every time I get set up, it's like, have I done this? Have I done that? Is this thing over here ready? Is that thing ready? I've forgotten to open up my uh, chat box. <laughs> and per first person in the chat is Vitor. And Maurice with the bananas. Thank you. So we are live, you know. Slight hiccup at the beginning of the stream. Some people are going to call me a derp. Come on, all I did was forget something. Jeez. Calm down. Okay. Calm down, outraged people in my imagination. Let's do this. Okay, so. We last left off this project with me kind of hitting a bit of a fumbling block, right? Anyway, I, I have uh, passed on my ideas to Nembom to see what he can come up with. And, you know, you know. It's it's Nembom. What what did I expect? A solution? <laughs> I mean, I thought I thought he wouldn't be able to figure this one out, but uh, he did. He figured it all out basically. So, with the clues that he gave me, we're going to be rebuilding, um, re rebuilding this this whole setup. If you haven't seen my recent episode, latest episode of Hermitcraft, that is the one to go watch. There's going to be some tricky redstone for me to figure out here, but I've I've put some of it together in my head already. So we'll probably do these things like one step at a time. Player's going to stand here. I think we'll give the player a carpet. That being said, in the video Nembom show me, it kind of looked like the player might have been like on a half slab or like lower down. Yeah, I think they were lower down. So let's uh, let's try that with a slab. X, what flavour tea you got today? I don't have a tea right now. I feel like I could have had one, but I've already had a couple today. And yeah, just that, that'll do me, I felt like. Right, yeah, this is this is closer, but still it felt a little less. Maybe it was a snow layer. I don't know how important this is. So, oh, snow layers don't go on hoppers, of course. Hmm. Don't think... I think that's that's it basically. Well, let's see what it's like when I stand here. Yeah, that's that's too low down, you see. DJ Eccles here for 36 months. Thank you, DJ Eccles. Appreciate your support. Hope you're being entertained. Actually, I just thought of the other thing that is a bit higher. It's a trapdoor, right? Daylight sensor, great suggestion. That feels perfect. I I'll just leave it like that. Maybe if redstone interacts with it, we'll have to do something else. Okay, so something is going to give us buckets of water. I <sighs> Let me just refresh my memory. Uh, let's say we have water at this level. Bucket in here. Yeah, yeah just wanted to double check. I mean... I'm not so good at remembering stuff. So, we can probably, possibly, automate putting these water buckets somewhere further back in our contraption. So, what we will have is a dispenser, or better yet, probably a dropper, right? To give us the water bucket, our inventory will be full. This can pretty much be anywhere around here. Now, that might mean the player picks up before it hits the hopper, which might be good for not having it go straight into the hopper. But we might need to lock the hopper anyway. So, we're good to move forward with that. So, we're going to have fishies somewhere behind this. We've got a way of getting them into one spot. Oh, you can see I've been trying out some other stuff as well over here. Like, I was seeing how much full damage they take when they just pop out of here. Um, I think they I think they sometimes take damage when they fall out of that height. Actually, it's probably when they fall out a little bit higher because of the fences, but yeah. My panda says, what is X doing? We're designing a farm. Really need to have seen my recent episode, though, to understand what's going on, I guess. So, buckets of water get dispensed or dropped to the player. Player picks up the fish and then we'll press Q. Now, if they don't pick up the fish... Yeah, I think I think we're going to have to rely on there always being fish. And if there isn't, we won't worry about it. But that is kind of an important thing that there's always fish. Otherwise, we're going to fill up buckets of uh, water buckets. Chests of water buckets. So, anyway, it gets converted into 
that, and then... Uh, bam. It gets thrown down. So that will get picked up down here. Okay, now when... When this thing's got one, it needs to send a signal back to this to give the player another one. But... If it only gets a water bucket... Actually, now I remember what Nembomb sent me. X, do you know there's like 3,000 different types? Yes, I do. We're going to get all of them. <laughs> if... Hmm, let's see. So if... In, I think Nembomb actually sent me a design where it just gives you a bucket. So if you fail to... If you fail to collect a fish and you throw away a bucket, we can filter that out. So I think it would be smarter to do this not with the filling system behind. This is going to be full of buckets now, okay? I think that makes more sense. I don't know if that's why Nembomb did that, but that's what I'd seen. So this is full of buckets. Well, you got Vactro here for three months. Emerald Cleaver 77. Here for six. I once told a chemistry joke in front of the class. There was no reaction. Amazing. Winnie T. Ford here for 33 months. And we got Pyro Bernie and Gifting. Ten subs. To Schmitty. Mr. Insanity. Darth Monkey. Russ Never Sleeps. KD07. Sirius. Melly98. McAdoo2222. Kafarina and Birdus19. Thank you so much for gifting the subs, dude. Appreciate your support in our community. We got My Panda99 here with cheers and bits. Thank you for those cheers and those biddies, my panda. We also got Wandering Soap here with the resubscribe. Also, a pu this, what's this XVX Puffer? Is that actually an emote I have that I've forgotten about? Can we get some XVX Puffer in chat? <laughs> so I know what's going on. Thank you for the resubscribe. Rebecca11 is here for three months. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Appreciate it. Yeah, I do not remember that emote. Oh, no, I do remember it now. Yeah, no, it's coming back to me. Sweet. Thank you for the puffer fishes in chat. It is greatly appreciated. So check this out, right? If we get like a signal here, let's uh, let's use smooth. I like using the smooth blocks for my redstone. I uh, want a comparator, and then we probably just want a repeater and dust and stuff. I should really, uh, I should really get the save toolbar stuff hooked up and like learn to swap between them. But yeah, I haven't done that yet. Okay. So like, if we detect something here, it's either a bucket or a water bucket with a fish in. All we need to do is kind of get that over here. And the most compact way to get it there, I'm not really sure. Probably using torches, actually. So, like, that goes to here. Okay, so the moment an item passes through there, this thing will dispense another bucket that the player will pick up. Right? And then continue doing their thing. So, I think we'll put this in. The player's going to need a way in here, so it'll probably be a trapdoor up top. And they'll need a way out. Um, there's sort of like no room to give them a proper way out. <laughs> Could put a minecart they hop into up top. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Like, that's small details for now, I guess. Okay, so that is the player's getting stuff. Point. Now, if we get a bucket, we will have a, an item filter down here. I mean, this is just me mishmashing, right? That's that's our item filter for buckets in case we ever uh, get those. Then we need a massive storage system to put all the different fishies that we get into. So, we shall have that represented there. Okay. Now, what we've got to do is get the fish in front of the player... Which might be a little bit tricky. So here's where here's where I'm not entirely sure what we're going to end up doing, really. I want to use some glass. Uh, we shall have... Something like this. Put stone underneath it. 
And what we've got to do is have all of the fish essentially drop down into that space, I believe. I believe this is how it's going to work. So we put a bucket on either side. I had a feeling that might happen. Uh, for now, I think we'll make them full blocks. Okay, this means when we click on the middle, it's going to pick up the water and then pick up a fish a moment later. So it's going to be like click, click, drop, click, click, drop. Now what we've got to do is get fishies into this spot. So let's go ahead and create a, a new radius for the player. Okay, there we go. So we've got those on. Let's... Hey, 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 we got noises. It's Manda Green Panda subscribing. And we've got... Nick Nasty for 65 months saying click click drop. That's what I said, right? Click click drop. Thank you ever so much for 65 months, dude. Appreciate it. That's that's wonderful. Right, so let's configure this one um, and say set here. And then let's configure that one and say set here. So now our spheres are based on where the player is. Uh, bear in mind we might move this farm. I think... Yeah, you see, I wanted to take advantage of being low down in the world, and we might not be really able to do that anymore, unfortunately. But we shall see. Uh, we need my wonderful wooden axe. Nope, apparently that didn't work. There we go. Wow, I'm really craving a tea, you know. It's just, it's just how my mind works. It's like, oh, I'm live streaming. Tea. It's just like, my taste buds are like, where is the TX? You know, what's going on here? Okay, so now we're at the height where things will spawn. Probably means we can go down by one block, because in order to have multiple spawns, I think what we're going to use is pistons. There's two ways you can move uh, the fish mobs, right? One is uh, is pistons, the other is minecarts, and then Nembomb was like, gravity. And, uh... I guess I hadn't considered that because I was building stuff down at the bottom of the world. So if we go higher up in the world, we can take advantage of gravity. Okay, so here is where... I'm just wondering... I'm wondering a couple of things. Like... Okay, so... We need the hitbox of this to make sure that the piston pushes and the mob falls down. It doesn't get caught on some edge. But it it might be a problem to not have water for the fish to fall in here. So I'm sort of wondering, is there a way we could waterlock this area? Now, if we use chests on the corners, we don't have the uh, right hitbox. So the only way that would work is if there is some sort of quirk with stairs. And I believe this is probably not a thing. Uh, but let's say we do this. Okay, it's all waterlogged. I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. But hey, we test and we learn and we find out and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, I, I don't think we can keep... I don't think we can keep the hitbox. So that is in fact creating a source right there, isn't it? So then... The problem would be that you need... This stair to be a shape... You need it to be that shape and stay that way. So... I don't think the fish can fit in that small little gap there. Let's say we assume that's true. Maybe the smallest puffer fish might. I don't think there's a way of forcing that, unfortunately. And when it comes to waterlogged blocks, uh, a good idea for that is to just search on the wiki. Waterlogged, and then have a quick scan through and see what's waterloggable. We got Matt Zabu here for 23 months and large money banks for 28. Thank you so much to the both of you. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. 
So I'm just having to flick through, like ender chest, but it's not a full block, is it? I don't think there's a single thing that's a full block. Scaffolding? Interesting. Maybe there is. Trapdoor would work for one side of a block and then a wall. Okay, so scaffolding. It's probably going to be a bit risky to do this with scaffolding. Did I just hear a wandering trader? Oh. Oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, son? Right. So let's go back over to this thing. So if we had scaffolding in the corners... I don't know if the fish could get in there or not. I got a weird feeling they could. Look, the hitbox is kind of like open in the middle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's let's knock that one on the head. I tell you what, as much as I like the glass, I feel like it's way more defined when you use a uh, uh, like a, a color glass, right? Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, that always just seems easier to look at to me. Why is the quality of the music so bad, says Kill My Depression. I don't know, it should be pretty much identical, right? Waterlogged pistons. Can't waterlog pistons, right? Hey X, will you ever do a Let's Play series, says Rage? I believe... I believe not. Um, it's unlikely. Okay, so the bottom of our farm will most likely be... Huh. Actually, do you know what we might be able to get away with? Having the water fall down into this space. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I've really got to think about this. Okay, yeah, okay. So the idea is coming back to me. I, um... I'm sort of re-going through the thought process that I had earlier in the day and just coming up with a problem and not remembering the solution. So we need to drop these things out of it. Ah, this would be a problem because we can't have the source blocks specifically there. Yikes. Okay, so let's, let's take it back a step. Let's take it back a step. So we're going to have water dropping down into the space, or maybe not. You see, I think it's going to be slow if they don't fall of their own accord, I guess. Like, we could do that and have the water above it. Or, I was thinking, if they're going to fall down, then why not just have that in the middle? And have the water come all the way down to the bottom. I guess the problem is the fish are probably going to swim up and down. So, yeah, okay, let's scrap that idea. Let's go with this. Uh, then we're going to put in all the blocks above it, right? This is where we have the water for the fishies to spawn. Okay, and then... I mean, do we need that many spawning spaces? I don't know, but let's mess about a bit here. Probably a few more than that. So in theory, that, that could be like the most, if you like. I'm going to have to get like another uh, account on, aren't I? To test this farm. Let's come down here. There we go. Right, so I need another account. I'm going to log on my uh, camera account now. Let's go ahead and open to LAN. Hey X, what are you building? Says someone in a hood. We're building a, uh, a, a fish bucket farm thing. A fish bucket farm thing. Fish bucket farm thing. <laughs> Gotta get me some of that. Fish bucket farm thing. You know? Just a, just a fish bucket farm thing. I mean, did what were you thinking it would be? 
Something you've heard of before? <laughs> okay. Um, so I got a swap. Oh wait, you know, this this one I actually kind of want. Don't know if you can see it on the other account. So that one's gonna go here, right? Come back here. Oh, hello. No, you wouldn't have seen a thing. So we've got that guy there. Okay. Who's that? Good question. Who is that? Right. There you go. So the fish swims up. The fish swims down. Go down further. <laughs> it also looks like some fishies. Oh, that makes sense, actually. I probably, now that I've moved the thing up, they're probably going to spawn on the outside here a little bit. Less in our farm. Let's see if we can uh, help out a little bit here then. Not really sure. Actually, I kind of know what to do. Kind of know what to do. Hello. There we go. Oh, got to be careful here, actually. If I set sand at the... Uh... <gasps> oh, I just did a really bad thing. No, 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 no. Undo immediate. Immediate undo. Immediate undo. Immediate undo. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Right, what happened? The you survived. You survived the great sand fill-in. Well done. This one's still going. Some sand managed to make it. Look at that. Whew. Okay, we good? We good. I mean, it'll take me a bunch of times to do this, but I can't really think of another way. That's quick. So we go from there over to here. What is this biome again? Says Twee on Twitch. This biome is the Luke. No, the War Motion. I think. I also got to do this. No, sixty-two, and then. Uh huh. Now I wonder if I can do like is shrink not a contract one in each direction and then ha that's the way we do it Okay, and then one more time, one more round of this, and, you know, we've effectively potentially made the area a bit more manageable. Oh, we've got to do it one more still. We got Convoy here for 47 months. Convoy, thank you so much. Appreciate it, dude. Hope you're uh, enjoying, enjoying the stream. Okay, so I am in creative mode. That does not help. So now we should have less fishies on the outside. And the fishies should only really be spawning inside of our farm, which they are. Now they're not coming down. So if we were to have... Oh no, no, hey! It works! They came down. Alright, well. Oh, and then you made it to the bottom, sweet. So now what we need is for all four of these to fire at the same time, essentially. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, no, no, no. We actually don't want to power that, do we? Because we've got the thingies there. All right, we'll just do it like this. We'll probably put the clock down below where we can turn it on and off and have the signal sent up here. Something like that. Is what I'm picturing. Hey, look, pufferfish. Uh, 
Uh, let's go like... Like that. And just... Okay, so this means... You know, we can turn the thing off from somewhere down here, on and off, right? Uh, to make a quick rudimentary clock, let's go ahead, grab a repeater, grab that. Uh, might be a good idea to change a little something just up here. Let's grab an observer. Uh, I'm going to put the observer here. And then the redstone dust on top of it. So this is going to create a pulse, right? And you'll see why in just a moment. Uh, which way around do I want it? I think I want it that way around. Then we put a lever here. No, we put... Oh, I'm missing a block, that's why. That's what we want. Look at that. Okay. I can turn it off, though, just by hitting this lever. And it also means we don't have to worry about what state it's in because the observer is the thing that creates the pulse. The observer block was uh, absolutely brilliant for redstone. Really, really brilliant. You know, when we talk about redstone revolutions, what do people often say? The observer block? Does that come up too much? Darkest King 6617 has resubscribed. Actually, just subscribed. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Now, I reckon if you just look at the distribution of the fishies, perhaps the height of the farm is an issue here. Hey, we got one. Hoppers, comparators, and observers were the biggest changes to redstone, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Hoppers is another one that gets called out for it, isn't it? And comparators, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Those three right there. And now Skulk Sensor, maybe. Uh, RPEB Gaming says, I'm happy that I clicked Twitch after playing Minecraft. Cool, dude. Welcome over here. Slime Block and Honey. Yeah, Slime Block. Sli slime Blocks would be probably people's most number one thing to bring up, I think. Y'all are really sleeping on the target blocks, is Professor Aggressor. I disagree. I think the I think the target block is a little bit more narrow in terms of use and function. It's useful to redirect. There are other methods to redirect. So the target block was great for interaction with with um, with entities, right? Like it's very purpose built for something. It works really well. Doesn't massively change other aspects of it. Right, so here's what I think we're going to try. We seem to get stuff kind of stuck at around this height and up. Uh, do you know what? I was going to fill in all the water with stone. But then I realised that... Oh, wait a minute. I do not know what I just changed. Uh-oh. I think I probably just broke a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. Yep. Oh, just... Just, you know, sort of had undo in my brain. Oh, I can undo this if I need to. Ended up doing the wrong thing. Okay, that's fixed. Uh, let's come back to this operation. So what I'm thinking is, I was going to replace the water with stone temporarily. Temporarily. What we'll do is actually set it with air. Because um, the lower down in the world, the higher the spawn rate, right? So now, if we just cap that off, uh, maybe we'll see some increased performance here. Are they, are they like, they're cancelling each other out. Uh, maybe I could fix that. Like, it would be great if I could keep them alive, which I can't, because I would like to see that happen again. Uh, it might be worth putting some stair blocks around here. Just like that. I don't know if that's going to help. Right. Fixator mode. We need the fishies to come down. By the way, I invited Nembom to come check out the stream. Um, I don't know if he's around. It'd be interesting to see what he has to say about this. Because I think I've sussed out 
Oh, hello. What's going on here, then? Oh, do you know what? It probably needs to stay there for longer. Right. Look at that. We've got the same problem again. Okay. Something to be fixed. No reply from uh, Nembom, though. Let me just minimise that so I've still got chat up. Right. We can change the name of the game a little bit. Now, why is there a delay? Shouldn't they all activate at the exact same... Oh, that's why. Huh. Right, now, I think we need to make another fundamental change down here. I think they could... Oh, we need to test it, really, to find out what's good for it. Three ticks seem to be okay. Uh, gonna guess we probably don't actually need these anymore. Let's let's see what it's like now. There we go. That 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 nudged it in, right? Okay. Spectator mode again. Uh, we got Jason G95 here with the Prime. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Okay. Wow. We got loads of fishies down here. I didn't think about that. Um. So that's the thing, right? So I kind of need to develop a clicker script for. Uh, I'd love to share that with you, actually. Let me just let me just see, right? Uh, yeah, I know, like watching a stream with poor screens and like this ain't too entertaining. But stick around; this might be fun to actually do together. Um, it's just that I got some sensitive info on this uh, thing that I use, right? So as long as I make note of it quickly. Uh, Right, okay, I'm going to have to make a couple of notes and then I'll be good to share this with you, so... Okay, that one's good to go. Right, <laughs> I've got to write down a lot of stuff. Okay, that one's good to go. That one's good to go. And then... That one's good to go. Right. I'm setting this thing up so that we can potentially uh, edit script together and see if we can actually get it working on stream with this, this chappy. I'm just now aware that the uh, noise of my camera account is going to be irritating. Let's turn that off. It's just constant fish. Okay, there we go. That's good. Right. Slap, 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 That's all we can hear. How do you choose which albums you want to review on your music channel, says it's Pace Moose. Well, I just uh, pick out ones from the blog and, and uh, you know, recite them. I'm going to grab my bottle of water. Oh, which is on the other desk. Whew, there we go. Suma, how's your arm? Says Sixth Planet. Well, the uh, the 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 um, the infection, the blister, all that kind of stuff, right? I've I've been keeping it um, I've been keeping it like covered, and the day in which I rip off the plaster and leave it uncovered all day, it just heals massively with some air, you know. Right. Uh, but the other injury, the other injury is still still there, still ever present. Okay, uh, right, so I now need to then go ahead and grab a script to edit. And I can't remember how I did it last time. So I shall jump into my auto clickers folder. Right, they are AHKs, that's great. And guessing oh this 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 could end up really bad by the way because now that i think about it like i have to go look up stuff on a wiki to do this it's probably a bad idea but whatever you know let's experiment okay so we are going to call it uh fish fish bucket fish bucket right fish bucket dot ahk 
Okay, going to open that up. And then we are going to put this on the stream. So bear with me. Uh, we have just been raided by Melo of a party of 186. My goodness me. Thank you ever so much for the raid. You've tuned in at a fantastically awful time. You're staring at a blank screen. You're thinking, this isn't entertaining. Why am I here? <laughs> We're about to do some coding, air quotes. Um, and I'm trying to add a capture to the screen. Let's see. Uh, we're doing a window capture. There it is. Let's proceed. And... What? Ah, there we go. Okay. Notepad. Add source. Let's see if we can grab it. Uh, grab it like a rabbit. Notepad. Microsoft Edge. That's not running. Apparently it's running. There's a whole bunch of Edge stuff running. I don't even know what that is. Well, it's the browser, obviously. Jeez. There it is. Notepad.exe. Bam! It's on the screen. It's on the screen. Let's go ahead and drag this like below everything else. Into here. Okay. I'm guessing if you're watching this on a stream, you'll probably want to see the text a bit more, right? Is it me or is it still above everything? How is it above everything else? It's at the bottom of the list. That's really weird. How's it going? How's it doing that? It's like at the bottom of the list, right? I'm going to drag it. Oh, okay. Now it's sort of refreshed itself by the looks of it. So when I put it there, huh, it just had a bit of a hiccup by the looks of it. Actually, no, something quirky is going on here. Anyway, we fixed it. We've got our overlay, right? Now I can turn it off. You can see the world. Cool. What language is this? It's called AHK, right? I'm not going to pretend I know how to program. But here's how we'll go about doing this, right? Um, oh, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit for my own sanity, I think. The bit of the code that I want is... Not this one. This this script was set up for Control M. So we're down here. We're at line 270. Mob grind. What one did I copy? I got a weird thing and I copied the wrong thing, you know. We need to do a simple looping script. So what I have to do is essentially find the bit inside the loop and replace it with something else. This looks way too complicated. Maybe I'll open up one of my other scripts quickly. So, I'm pretty sure I copied faster attack. Let's open up Nether Wart. Let's see where it's at on here. Should be down at 270, the same spot. Yeah, so this is it. I uh, I modified control. This is easier to look at for me as well. So, this is mob grind. When program state is 4, i.e. pressing control M and starting it, you go into a loop. Okay, and then the bit you're actually looking at is here. So this sleep time is great. Control click is exactly what we want, but those are mouse keys. We will be right clicking with the bucket. Yeah, this, this script's here perfect. It's perfect. Right, so I'm going to get rid of fish bucket and copy it from nether wart, which you can't see me doing, but I'm doing. Okay, this is all for Minecraft, peeps. This is all for Minecraft. Right, so we're going to put fish bucket up here. Go down to line 270. Okay, so now when we modify anything here, everything else is set up. Okay. So this is going to run our auto clicker, essentially. By the way, did I just see... No, okay, I thought this was something on my screen. Right. Uh, where are we going next? We're going to go into the game. Uh, you kind of want to see what I'm seeing right now. I guess... Jeez, this is confusing. Let's turn that off. Turn that on. Yeah, that kind of helps a little bit, right? So, this is going to be... This right here will be survival mode. Interesting. I was somehow lower. Right, so I need to... I'm going to get a bucket. No, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to get an empty bucket. Give, zoom, avoid, bucket, right? Then I'm going to click, then I'm going to click again, and I've hit that, and then we're going to press the button R on my keyboard, and it's going to go, and I get a new bucket. 
I forgot that we hooked up the redstone. I've got a new bucket. Right. So it is right click, right click, R. So if we go back to the script. I've got a feeling I've got the wrong stuff here, but uh, there we go. So control click, I believe, holds it down permanently, like continues to hold it down. Might get a little bit hacky and get away with that. Um, see, look at that. Click right. That might be better for what we want. Control F. One problem with that, though, is that this this is better because it targets the screen. So when you Alt and Tab, this tends to work better. Now, NA means something, and I think it means like release or not release. Is R your drop key? Yes, it is, because I find when you press in ASD, WASD, you can press Q and E quite easy, by mistake, you know. Okay, so... Do we have a, cle a keyboard click so I don't have to go look it up anywhere? Like, otherwise I'm going to be looking at a wiki that you can't see. Here's control, look, see, NAD, NAU. They mean different things. You've got to look up what they mean. So send appears to be the way you send a keystroke. I don't know if any of these rely on keystrokes anywhere. Um, pressing control... No, nah, that wouldn't work that way. So it's probably going to be send. And then we type in the key letter. So I'm going to go confirm that and look this up. So it's right click, right click, Q. So the things that we need to look up, that actually needs to be spaced there. Uh, this, by the way, this sleep time is insane. Uh, we're probably going to want to make that for testing. Let's make it a 1,000. Oh, no, that might actually be... Oh, let's make it 300. I don't know how long that is. So in between each cycle, it's going to do that, right? That's a loop. Just got to learn what NA means and how we send... So I'm going to open up my browser, which you can't see. I'm going to the AHK website. Um, I'll just type AHK. Right click on the AHK icon and use help. Huh. Oh, it doesn't have a help option. Well, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Okay, let's uh, go into documentation on the website and use the search feature, which again, you can't see, but... Send. Ah, thing fell on the floor. Send draw, send input. Let's open that up. So how do I just send a regular letter? Text mode can be used with text. Hmm. I mean, it's not clear, but I think you just type the letter in. You also specify if you hold it down or up. And I'm not sure what it means. Sends 30 uppercase S. Oh, so if I type the amount, it will send it once. Interesting. Interesting. So if I type R space 1, that means it sends R once. Okay. Oh, some people in chat now to do it already. Yeah, it, or, or I might not even... Let's, let's do it about the one first. By the way, if I type in uppercase, it will send an uppercase, which means I'll be holding down shift in the game. So, well, potentially it wouldn't. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we don't want that. So that, now I need control click, right? I'm going to go look this up. And uh, I've done all this before. It's just I don't remember it. This is, this is what a lot of people say coding is like, though. You're, like, looking things up and copy and pasting. and So it's got a little bit of that going on. Uh, let's just type, what was it, NAU was one of them? Oh, it's not finding that, is it? Should find that. Should be on this page. It's not on this page. I'm going to go NAU. Hmm. Was it NAU? It was NA. Okay, control. Click. NA. Come on, open the page. There we go, right. Actually, I can learn sort of from here what I think it is. Left, right, click count options. Yeah, it's probably under options. There it is, got it. Okay. NA may improve reliability. 
putting a D on the end, press the mouse down but not release it. Oh, so D and U are up, D and up, so you, then you send the release. I think we might want to leave it off then, because we don't want it to hold down or release. So, I, whoa, uh, we've got a noise in that made me jump. <laughs> that made me jump. Okay, so we wanted to right click twice, and that's it. I believe that's all we need to do. Okay, now, whenever you do this stuff, it always goes wrong. So let's turn that off. Be really cool if I just had like regular screen capture stuff set up for this. Copy and pasting. If a programmer tells you he only does that, it means he's terrible at his job, says Byro. Not really. Could mean they're efficient at their job. Could mean they've gone, oh, I've coded something that does this before I go grab it from a previous project. Right, Dan, I'm going to read your donation in just a minute. First of all, we're going to do a little test run. Okay, so you can see this up here, right? Uh, let's also... I don't know, sand. Apparently sand is the thing that came to mind, right? So, let's also do that. Just to avoid any fuzziness. Okay. We're going to look straight ahead. And I'm going to launch the script we have just written, which is called Fish Bucket. Going to then come back... Oh, I killed a fishy! Control W. I'm going to put my clicker into AFK mob mode and I'm no longer playing. So let's go grab this over here. Okay, and let's watch from a different angle. Right, and we're going to start mob grinding now and who knows what's going to happen. Right, the fact that it's making those noises means... I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, it's sending, it's sending it everywhere. As opposed to just to that window. Look, you see the R's came through here. But, uh, did that not just work? Like, was that a good theory? Let's check it out. Where did those buckets go? I thought... Oh, did they get in... Wait, where did they go? Oh, they would have gone here. Yeah. We got one. Oh, I thought it looked like we got way more than that. Okay. Um, I think the clicking speed was a bit fast. So let's go back to the, uh, the old script. Here it is. So I think we're going to double that. It might even need to triple it, really. Let's go with that. Now let's let's go with, let's go with sixes all round, right? So control clicks were good. I think we just need to use control send. So I'm going to look up the documentation. And to be honest, I don't know why the other script wasn't like that. Probably because it wasn't a AFK script. Like when you use AFK, you're going to do other stuff on the computer. So you need to send to the window. Yeah, this one might be a bit trickier to put together. Control send has parameters, so we need to... Let's see if it's somewhere else in this... Uh, if it's somewhere else in this setup. So if I search... Oh, it didn't find anything. Interesting. So there's no other control sends for me to look at. So you have control, then you have keys. Hmm... Win title, win text. Let's check it out, right? I think we put our key here, and then we have that. It's kind of similar to this. Yeah, it makes sense now that we were getting those noises. So, I'm going to copy that much, I think. Put that there. Let me go check the documentation. So, the first bit is control. You give it a class to operate upon a controls window handle. Yeah, I might. I, is there's a li high likelihood of me getting something wrong here. But anyway, the second parameter is hmm, it actually kind of looks like that's the second parameter. Dang! <laughs> um, I've, I've hit a bit of a stump here. Right, control send. Oh, let's uh, click on the right window. Control send. Hmm. I'm going to look at an example.
Uh, I, yeah, I got a good feeling I'm going to get this wrong, right? So let's bring in what I'm looking at. Okay, so it says Control Send, Edit 1. I don't know what that means. But then this is clearly the keys, and then that's the title of the, the window. Maybe if I go check Control Send, it will make more sense. So if I put that there, and then that is the key that we're sending. In theory, that might be just what we need to do, but probably not. So if I jump back to the page I was on before, which was control click, um, control position, win title, win text. Control position, win title, win text. So that is the win title. If I go forward and look at this one again, win title is the third one. So yeah, it's got to be in the correct position then. I'm pretty sure that is correct. Okay, let's save that script and try again. Um, let's close the notepad. So, buckets are all available. Uh, what is the status of this fella? Right, I've got a bucket of water. I'm going to throw that away and take a new bucket. And then we're going to go for it, right? So, close the clicker. I got a lot of stuff open. <laughs> I got Discord open. Let's close Discord. Come on now. Okay. Uh, alt tab to my auto clickers. Load up fish bucket. Go back to this. Uh, control W now. It's got it. And now we're going to hit the AFK mob mode. And then we're going to press control M. And it should. Interesting. Wait, where's it aimed at currently? Oh, look, it's not going to be able to get the puffer fish very well, is it? Looks like that. Looks to me like the second. I feel like the second click isn't taking place, right? It really seems to me like there's only like clicking once. Okay, now I'm going to alt and tab just to make sure it's still doing that. Okay, so it's still doing that. But we've got problems. We've got problems, right? Okay, I'm going to stop the script. And we're going to go back to normal for a minute. I think we might need to modify the script again. But let's read some noises in the ear. Okay, so we got Dan here with a donation saying, How was your Madras slash Dan sack the other night after your end raid stream? Was it too spicy or just right? Dude, that was a couple of weeks ago, man. Um, if I, I don't, I don't think I ended up having Madras and Dan Sack together. But the Madras was sort of um, hot, but not enough flavour. I could handle the heat. It was nice that it was hotter, but it it didn't really have enough flavour to sell it for me. That's that's my experience of trying hotter curries. Is usually there's less flavour and more heat, and I kind of I kind of like appreciate the flavour, you know. Right, they're all just going to hang out there and do that, are they? That's what they're doing now. They're all doing that. <laughs> Let's kill at entity... Uh, not player. No, wait, type. Not player. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> That might push them up high enough. We might also then need more space for them up top. i got an idea, actually, that I'm going to try out. Let's put in some stairs. Ah! Random jump. So if we try that, that will hopefully group them up in that middle space, right? Is what I'm thinking. These could also be waterlogged on either side. Hey, we've got a puffer fish. Right, I'm going to go back in spectator mode. So, if I go back to the script... Oh, by the way, Dan, thank you so much for the donation. We also got Naffin MC here for 11 months. Truly appreciate it. Hope you all are enjoying something really odd. With me doing coding or whatever. Okay. Why did it... It doesn't feel like it's doing that. It feels like it's doing the first one and not the second. Which is really strange because... What does NA mean again? Maybe it's the release is the problem. Like, we need it to release and it's not doing that. 
So control click when you go to options, which is where NA is written. So NA will improve stability. Then you got down and up. If both D and U options are absent, a complete click down and up will be sent. So there you go. That it should be sending the correct thing. So that the oh look at that. There's a that might be it. There might be a tiny typo that goofs it up. Which is weird, because is that typo in the other script? Because the other script works. Wonder if that's what it was. Let's check it out. Uh, also, does that appear again anywhere? Like you always gotta have that look, there's not a space there though. But there is here. I don't get I don't get where they should and shouldn't be. But the rest of it works. So we're going to get rid of the notepad on the screen. Okay, we're back to this view. So my clicker is running. Let's get rid of the clicker so we can put a new script up. I'm gonna go over to this window right here, gonna aim right very carefully ugh, there. Okay, can I get it? I got it. Okay, now we are going to launch... Did it pick up the right window? I think it did. Now we're going to launch the clicker to go into mob grinding mode. Right, I saw it pick up... There it goes! It's picking up fish! <gasps> it's picking up fish! I think it needs probably a little bit more time between it, but it's picking up fish. Oh, dude, it's picking up fish. Okay, hang on. I can't alt and tab. Oh, that's weird. Why would I not be able to alt and tab? What's going on? Computer's going funky. I want to go there. Right. Is it working still? It shouldn't interfere with pressing alt and tab, but it seemed to do for a moment. So, the whole script probably needs to run a lot slower. If you think about it. And I do wonder if clicking on the... Uh, What is it doing at the moment? It's only getting water buckets, isn't it? I think we're going to slow it down again. But it looks like when they come into this forward space, that might mess with it too. So we might need double enchanting tables. Yeah, let's... let's okay, let's make some modifications. So, modification to the script. Let's close the clicker. Is going to be... Let's go for a thousand. Okay, why... What is it doing? Right, it seemed to think I had held down right click. It's odd. Okay, anyway, modifying this to be 1000, 1000, 1000, right? Honestly, I think I think it probably needs like even longer than that. Let's go with a 5 there actually. Okay, so that's going to be that for now. Uh, we are going to... What, what, what have I selected? We, we need to make modifications to this before we run the script. There we go, this window. Uh, I'm going to use this looking at type deal. Okay. Set block. Dirt, 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 enchanting table. Bam. So we're going to have that looking into this space. And we're going to hope that that helps. What was the other thing? Or was that it? Was it literally just, let's put that there? I think it was. That and slow the script. Okay. Let's go over here. It's still aiming straight down the middle. Shouldn't have two buckets, right? There we go. We've got one. Okay, now we need to launch the script. Okay, this window has been selected. And now I should be able to... Select the mode and start the script. It's doing it, and it's doing it slow. Oh! Oh, this looks good. Yes, please. Oh! <laughs> I just hope we can get enough fishies down there to keep it going. How are we doing over here? Whoa! Whoa, this is going to back up soon going to back up like a mad... Wait, what am I... Creative mode, that's what I need. Oh! Oh! Look at them come through. Puffer fishes! 
Look, all the different types. This is amazing. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, we're going to do this. We've got to do this on Hermitcraft. It's going to be nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm just wondering now how we optimize this further. I feel like maybe we could put chests either side. Yeah, let's goof around with this layout a little bit, right? So if I put a chest there and a chest here, and then I'm going to put that back to that. Oh, oh look, it's not, it's not actually getting these ones currently. What's going on with it? <laughs> look at that little face. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, why is this no longer working? Let's go check this one, right? Like... Is it really just not hitting that fish? Yeah, it, okay. So, you need really good rates. You need re Oh, hit, speaking of which, I'm in creative mode. So, we need to, we need to increase the rates up here. And I'm just wondering if we could expand on this like it were a blaze farm and get like a big old funneling system and then have multiple drop shoots, right? Right, I think that's a fantastic test, a proof of concept. I'm going to get rid of the coding stuff. Uh, we might... I think we're not going to do the clicker test again. We're just going to work on getting them in. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to get rid of notepad over here. Remove source. There we go. Yep. Okay, now my stream is back to normal. And hopefully I can give you all some more attention, you know. One more thing to do, I guess, is to turn off that one. All right. Uh, Seasick Rhino says do it. If it doesn't work, at least we tried. Hey, I, th I mean, it works, right? Like, we've had our proof of concept. It will work with a clicker. We know that. Okay, I'm, I'm just renormalizing my computer now. I'm putting all the things back on my screen. 1,700 peeps are hanging out with a ghostly beast humor as he does code him. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Zinc says, isn't Macaroon cheating? I mean, like, the way, the way I play this game is... Um, you know, you can only cheat yourself. So if you consider it cheating, you don't have to use it. I, I don't really consider it cheating because it opens up the possibilities of things that you can do. And sometimes there are some things that are a bit more cheaty than others. It's definitely on the cheaty side. Like you know, you can't do something like this without the clicker. But that's kind of the point for using a clicker. Then all of a sudden you can do something really crazy in this game and collect all of these, right? Which you can't do realistically. By the way, I've just realized like it's like it's I was thinking I was picturing myself collecting every one of these, but then I just realized you've got to you've got to go through what like thousands of combinations of them. So uh that's probably a pain in the ass to just actually sort through manually and read all the words right and then you're gonna read you're gonna find out that you got this one several times i mean i think the combination of names here represents represents um every combination but maybe maybe it's possible to collect all of the first line where it says yellow tail parrotfish because I can't remember how it works. Is it a combination of names? Like you can also get parrotfish yellowtail, or you can get clayfish yellowtail. Because wait a minute. Oh no, it's the same one twice. Okay. Because it might be a case of like there's 16 combinations of names to collect, but it might be when you have pink and orange, the so colours underneath. That's when all of a sudden uh, you're looking at loads of different combinations, right? I'm not sure. I'll have to research it because if there's like a easier collection I'll probably go with that if there's a you've got to literally collect 2,000 different types I might just pass on it yeah look at those they're both the same anyway that was a lot of words and I'm not sure if they even made much sense 
There's a decent amount of preset fish that the game spawns more frequently than others. So things like butterfish and clownfish are more common than random ones, like the clayfish, with very different combos to soybean. Uh, we've got noise in the air from Cheesy Katie here for 23 months and Zack Attack 2097 here for 7 months. Thank you so, so much to the both of you. Appreciate it. They have a 10% chance to get a random fish. As all entities have different code, it might not stack. Well, none of them stack down here. I I guess what I'm saying is... I guess what I'm saying is... I don't know the exact complexity of how many combinations of these you can get. But if there is like two layers to it, where there can be a simple way and, an, and a much more detailed way, I'll go with the simpler way. Because initially I thought it would be really fun to grab them and organise them all. And then I've just sort of realised, well, if there's thousands of them, not only do you have to put them all in order somewhere, probably using chests, then you've also got to <laughs> read the names of ones over and over again and go, nope, got that one, nope, got that one. So if you imagine collecting five different types of an item, not much work. Ten, a little bit more. 20 then all of a sudden you're really starting to juggle a load of variables and then as the number increases by the time you get to 50 100 it's probably like a heck of a lot of work so going into the thousands uh, apparently there are 8157 types of fish goodness me yeah so um, the farm will probably be more about collecting puffer fish but kind of novelty and fun to show off all these other ones we can get as well right so yeah, how can we improve what's going on up here next? Let's think about the layout a little bit. We'll uh, we'll come over here. Oh, hello. There we go. Can't you remove the fences under the chests? Yeah and no. I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there because I might even make it a wall so it's slightly fatter hitbox. But the hitbox now extends either side. I don't know if any type of fish can drop out of that space, but in in the rare instance they can, what we're going to do is put a wall there. And if that, it probably makes sense to add more, right? Now there's even smaller chance of it coming out. So, <laughs> Th thanks for the suggestion to remove it. I've added more. Flagator says, but not all of the 8K variants actually spawn in the world. Ah, oh, right. So, what, there's 8K combinations, but the game code means it doesn't use all of them. Something like that. Is what I'm guessing. That is what I'm guessing. Let's grab a piston. So, if we think like blazes. Oh, now, now I'm really starting to think. So, what we could do potentially. What am I doing here? Uh, now I've put these in the wrong. Ugh. Like that. Then we're pushing that one over the top of that. I mean, I think, yeah, I think if you time it right, that probably works. So let's say, you know, proof of concept. Let's try this with three. Because I don't, I don't really want to overdo this. Then you have... Okay, the next set are here. Then you have this. But, in our case... We can't have the fishies fall too far, so I think rather than having a row all at the same height, you're going to have a system like this. And this is like one weird setup for pistons right here. Same thing on the opposite side. So that's actually the hole that they fall down through. So we're going to have that going on. Um, then these things here. I mean, is this making any sense to anyone? I mean, all of this is going to be power all, powerable. Just uh, possibly getting hot, hot, held up a bit. I love this song, says Alarizina. I mean, I probably butchered your name. I love it too. I haven't listened to this album in a while, it feels like. And it's such a great record. Okay, there we go. 
This next bit's awesome, Joe. Rightio. Anyway, so now what's next is probably just building this up a little bit so we can visualize it better. Now, here, that's not going to be a space. Then it's like that. So the water, how do we do it over here again? We've got the fence gate, right? So the fence gate is there and the water is above it. So we probably want to make that a little bit higher. That's where the water is. And it comes down by one. So I think the uh, piston's going to push through the fence gate. Okay, so fence gate one is there. Then it's like this. Pretty much all the way across. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong at any point, but I think that's it. It's a very different looking setup now, all of a sudden. Not seen something like this in a while. It's kind of cool to have a new challenge, right, when you do this sort of stuff. And this, this feels like a new challenge right here. It feels like a new level of confidence and power. <laughs> one person in the chat will know what that is. Just one. Oh, no, no. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. We're jumping a beat here. Oh, we also need... Yeah, we need, like, one more piston at this level. Right. Then that space needs to be open. Oh. All of this is wrong. So the fence gates are still good. Well then, actually, uh, th that that just means that we stack the fence gates over, right? Like, they're all just going to basically be at the same height. Yeah, okay. That's uh, probably easier to manage. Ah. Ah. It would be easier if you put a magma block in a loop so the fish are pulled down and still spawn. Says Nausea. Why did we not do that before? Because... Because the source block will be broken by the piston and the magma block would need to be below it. If we rotated it, we would still need... Uh, we would still need source block regeneration and we couldn't really do that without changing the hitbox of the whole system. So unless we were going to have like a tower of chests leading down, I don't like the sound of doing that. That sounds like something's going to go wrong to me. Um, yeah, so that's not really too possible, I believe. Okay. Uh, then we're kind of caught up. Right, so water will be everything above there. And I believe it would probably make sense to do this manually. And then we're, then we're playing a game of doing the redstone. And we'll do the redstone from underneath, which might end up being an absolute pain. But because we're in creative, we can do commands. So... Ooh, we missed one, did we? And get rid of that. And get rid of that. Actually, yeah. No, this isn't finished over here at all, is it? Sweet. Cool. Which farm is this, says Purple Frog? This is a fish farm for buckets. We're going to move on to another one soon anyway. I just want to do this as like a bit of a proof of concept and see what it feels like. We got uh, two other farms to sort of look at. Well, eventually. I mean, today at least. But two more farms for the server. For the project, the brewing project. Okay, so... That looks all good to me, right? So we have fishy spawning, falling down eventually, and then getting pushed by pistons. Now, the way in which they get activated kind of needs to be in sequence. This is where this is going to get, like... Unfortunately, a bit tricky. We want to power from top down... Which might make it difficult using observers. I, I'm picturing us using a lot of observers, by the way. Um, as, our, as our kind of wiring. We can also replace the glass blocks with observers. 
Um, so we want to do these ones first. Like, I'm literally looking at these like they're wiring, so... I don't even know where the input for this stuff is, right? Yeah, this might end up being like a little too complicated. <laughs> and now, now I'm looking at it like uh, this is this is kind of annoying. I can I can do it a lazy way, but otherwise it seems immediately rather complex. Now I think I'm going to use note blocks because I think that's a good block to use, um, like like that. So it's. But didn't we learn that we need more than that? Yeah. Ah, no. This is going to be horrible to do in this kind of sequencing. No, we can't use observers, really. So... Oh, my words. Right. Let's put that back. There's not really an easy way to just add a delay between each point without... Like, you can do redstone like this, right? But then... If you want the shuffling effect, so imagine that one lands here and it goes straight down to the bottom. That's sort of the best. In order to do that, you can kind of do it like this. And this is not nice. But uh, you have repeaters. These ones have more, right? And then all of a sudden you're looking at big bulky redstone. So is there something more elegant than that is essentially the idea. Can't you observe one piston and take that signal input to the next piston? Not really, um, because observers do not have the right pulse length. That's a very important thing. We can't use it at all. They're just going to create, you know, clocks and snappy firing pistons. No need for the delay there, says ha 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 ha. Like I said, if you want to power them all at once, then... Every time they get powered, the fishies move a little bit closer to the drop. If you do it this way, they get there straight away. It's just... I'm not really sure if there's an elegant way to do this. They won't die that quick. You don't have to sequence. It's not about them dying. It's about how quickly they get in there. I think I might knock this idea on the head, you know. Uh, Helskajar is here gifting a sub to I is Stuffy. Thank you for gifting the sub, dude. We've got Darkheart X9 here with a Prime. Thank you so much for your Prime subscription. Appreciate it. The side pistons only push them once anyway. Ah, that's a very good point. That is a very good point. That's a great way of thinking about it. So really what we want... Okay, right, that's terrific. Because now we know that probably... What we're gonna, yeah, great, great. That this is um this okay. I talk about this every time we talk about redstone, right? But like, sometimes you just you you get your head locked into an idea and you don't look at what's going on. When you take a step back and relook at it, you're like, oh right, yeah, of course. So that's a great bit of logic. Those can all fire at once because they push everything into the middle column. So if we have these synchronously pushed into the middle. And, and bear in mind, things might jump out, right? Although, maybe we can time it so that the pistons kind of lock and then these ones fire. So they like push in either side, they stay there, then these ones go. So then, we're looking at how do we get this to fire top to bottom with delays. With delays, I mean... Hmm. Uh, so maybe... Let me just think. This ain't going to look pretty to begin with, but... Right, we've got repeaters there. Now this one can get a signal from back here. So now it's got the, the, the double delay, right? So we've got one. I mean, technically that doesn't need a repeater. This one's got two. This one here needs three. There's got to be a way of making this smaller at some point, right? And then the one down the bottom has four. So that's essentially like 
how you want the sequence to work, but this one could power that one. Hmm, doesn't really quite work like that. You're probably overthinking this farm, says David. Yeah, no, could well and truly be at this point, but I just wanted to see what was possible. It's fun. you got to challenge yourself with different ideas, right? If you're going to make some progress and learn some stuff along the way. Keep the excites extended while the middle is firing, says Seasick Rhino. Yeah, that would be the idea. Um, I'm just not really seeing or thinking of a way this... Yeah, you can't really use observers, like detecting the repeaters, because they'll fire twice. So, fitting something like that in doesn't really help. Change the delay of the repeaters. Yeah, well, that, that will come. Uh, that being said, this can look a little less horrendous with one change, which would be to remove those. And I believe power that from there. Right, now it's a little smaller. Doesn't look so bad. Okay, so let's start thinking about wiring this up. Uh, let's get a lever. So we're going to have a clock that's going to send a signal to lock out these. Right, that's been done. And when that happens, like... Uh, it's not pretty, but that'll do. So we want more of a T-flip-flop event here, so... Oh, and also, it might not hurt to leave them extended, so let's go ahead and try this. Interesting. The way it unpowers for the repeaters isn't, isn't great, but it's kind of there. You probably do actually want a pulse to go through here, um, which is actually kind of very achievable now to think about it. So, where's the best place to put this? Actually, I think here might be. Oh yeah, then that doesn't power out the things either side of it. Not the prettiest, but... Okay, then the first one doesn't have the, uh, the same pulse as the others, which is interesting. I'm not sure you can fix that unless you go for the bigger circuit. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see this with fishies, but honestly, it really feels like it's a bit over the top, right? Middle lane needs a delay. Yeah, it probably does. That could easily be added in. So I do wonder if we can make this a little bigger with this concept again. Let's, uh, let's take it. Like, expands. I don't know how big that thing is, but 20. All right. Then expand it that way by like 10 and then stack it. Now we've got this. So I'm just wondering like what if... What if you also had pistons here? Oh, I guess you need... Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Right, so there. So what if we have pistons here and here? They would push into that space. I wouldn't actually really do him any favours. 
So I guess maybe what I'm thinking is you have that and then this. And they could possibly fire all at the same time. It would be slightly inelegant. Okay, let's go ahead and actually implement this. You see, now it's a question of like how how much spawning space do we need for this thing? Is that enough? Because if it's not, like you want to get it right, so that's why we need to test other designs. I guess that one feels like really probably over the top, but it's kind of fun to think about it. Uh, Moonfleet, thank you for 21 months of support. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. So if we go ahead and uh, do that, it will fire them all at once, which is perhaps not the best order to activate them in, right? But hey, we're just experimenting over here. Uh, do that, and that. Then this thing will be ready to go higher. Where oh, my fence gate's gone? Uh, and then how will I... Like that. Oh look, that one's lost one. How did it lose that? Didn't even see when that happened. Okay, so now we want to, I guess... Ah! Uh... <laughs> Just do that is all we need to do. Um... Wait, have we done that all levels? If so... Huh. Oh no, wait, I hadn't done it on those ones. What's going on here? I'm, I'm having trouble... ...reading the contraption or something. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now we've got water sources, and we're missing uh, missing some blocks on the edge, whatever. So now it's got slightly more overall, right? I feel like it might be smart to structure block this next bit, so if we go um, give assume a structure block or something. And then chuck this in somewhere. Hey, it's just what your assumer says about Hermitcraft game thing on Twitter. I agree with what you said, but wanted to know your know your opinion when people make fan games for the creator. Because for me, I know it's hard to code and made a few games, but art is beyond. Look, it's just one of those things where um, it's a grey area, right? And I think if you remix content enough and you, uh, you're transformative enough, then you fall within fair use. But you also got to respect that you're using someone else's content and they hold rights over it. So in the case of someone asking us to endorse something, the answer is usually no. It's, it's all a big grey area and unless you're going to communicate, then you're not going to get anywhere officially, right? Let's, uh, okay, so let's call this uh, normal. I don't know. Actually, we should really give it a more specific name. Uh, we'll call it bucket normal. So it's like the bucket farm normal, right? The one that we tested that we know works. Okay, that's great. Let's go move it over here. So it'll be from that corner that we work with this. Just to make our life easier. Oh, it's seven, and then it looks like it needs a few more blocks. So 
Is that all of it? Yeah, there you go. So we'll save that. Right, that's... Oh, no, no, wait, what? Bam. Right, now we're going to take this information over here. I'm going to change the name to... Uh, Linux 9. Okay, save. Yep, there we go. So now over here we'll put this in, in load. <laughs> it's immediately working. I love that. Okay, I uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a problem now. We kind of don't want water in here anymore. But they've both been saved, so let's just grab some sponges, do it the old school way. Instead of using commands, right. Good stuff. Over here on this one. Okay, going to spectator mode. Still got the other account on, remember? So that's now, in theory, got a way better chance of spawning stuff. We've uh, doubled the spawning area, actually. So they'll still fall down, but they've got twice as much spawning space, which is a good increment. Right, now you're there. <laughs> you went straight down. The puffer fish. Where was that thing hanging out at? Could also be that this thing's too high. The way in which they dip up and down kind of suggests there might be an optimal like height to have or not have. Also, these ones aren't using their AI, are they? There's a distance for which they don't use their AI. That's that's an interesting thought. Let's go ahead and remove the top three layers. So yeah, wider and, and smaller might be important to get them using their AI. We're a long way from finishing this. <laughs> There's still more to be figured out. Okay, we need them to use their AI. That's really important. That, they're using their AI at that height there. That's great. That's really great. So now they're capable of coming all the way down to the bottom. One thing we could also do... I don't know why I didn't see this earlier, but you could push magma blocks in and pull them back out again. Couldn't you? Why did I not think of that before? Also, is that using its AI? It kind of looks like it's not. There we go. There we go. Down here. Yep, they'll get... Nah. They didn't go straight in. They escaped. <laughs> ah, interesting. So much to figure out. But I'm glad that we sort of sussed out this height thing because that's really good to know. I think we need to. I think we need to reassess the design again. Kind of like what I tried to do over here. That's not the right direction to go in. But we need to rethink some things a little bit. I think. Let's come back over to here. Okay, we're going to grab that. Why did that not... I should collect the memory. There we go. Let's go into load mode. I'm going to load the normal one for now. So we load that. Uh-huh. Right. We need... I think we need to try it with the magma block, maybe. What do you think, peeps? What if you just made a grid of fence gates that would allow the fish to swim upwards? Not allow. If they tried to move sideways, they would fall to the bottom. Um, okay. Not entirely sure what you're suggesting, but if you let fishies fall, they have to fall into water. And then, then the problem is like... Uh, there's, a, there's a lot that can go wrong with with working with these blocks or uh, these mobs magma blocks magma blocks yeah I think we're just gonna stick with this farm actually because there's still a ways to go right Ranger 97 thank you for eight months of support dude appreciate it hope you're enjoying the stream uh, we actually know we need the 9x9 design hmm You know what we could do to make the 9x9 design simpler? We could actually have the piston at this level. Let's look at it from down here. 
So we can actually do that, essentially. Right, and then this would become a fence gate. And so would those. Because, yeah, eventually they'll all get sort of pushed into the middle bit, is the idea. So we can do it, we can do it like that. That's not a problem. I think we actually want to go like that, right? And then this is the bit that gets stacked up. Almost. So that will get stacked up to be as high as that. And then hopefully that works better because this, this shuffle layout here, we've seen it go wrong a couple of times. Might also help if these weren't a full height block, but you'd probably literally need enchanting tables to stop them from jumping back up again because they jump back up into the water. So I think that would actually be in theory better. It would stop them jumping back up. So we might also need that up at this level. <laughs> kind, of, kind of weird using these enchanting tables, right? Hopefully that works. That looks like it would. I mean, the pufferfish has a small hitbox, but like not enough to get through that gap, right? So it get pushed by the piston. And then hopefully they don't go back up into the water. Now, this idea of the magma block would be to push it in periodically to pull some of the mobs down, but... Okay, let's go ahead and stack this to the correct height. And then we'll think about that. Okay. Um, so the height is, from above there, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we will... Stack by 13, and we will have 14 blocks of height. Uh, no, 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 no! Whew. Ah! Doing this all the wrong way, aren't I? All the wrong way. This is our roof at this level here. That is the roof of the farm. Okay, so the idea of the magma block. This is the better 9x9, nine by, nine, by the way. This is the one that we should use, I think. Would be... Actually, you could go at this level here. Right? Now, when I push it in there... See, what I could do is have a clock that goes around and does it in sequences. That being said, if I remove these two blocks at the same time, we won't replenish the source. So then we would end up with like bulky redstone probably to do one block in and out at a time. So for that reason, I think we will just go with this. Okay. Um, do you know what I don't ever use? Do you remember the debug stick? It was actually left in by mistake one time. <laughs> and now it's part of the game. There we go. Not bad, right? Pretty useful. <laughs> Now we want this thing to fire off probably way less frequently than the one below. So it kind of needs its own separate clock. But maybe we can run it off the same one. Let's get let's give it a shot. Actually. I mean, I don't know how uh, this is this is this is like total experimental zone actually. It probably needs like a long pulse. Probably needs a long pulse um to get it working. Uh, well, how should we do this? Like that. Now, 
Now this could or could not work. Really not got a clue. But we're going to call this... Let's uh, save it as the 9x9 nine nine special. Let's just call it the special. Alright, save. Bam. So we go over here. We shall load the special. See, I don't even know... Oh, I never finished building it. I don't even know that's going to make a difference, right? Like, does that even... Let's do this. Is this even going to pull anything away for a second? Kind of look like it. Oh, no. It looks like it's yoinking it down. This might also mean it would be wise to have a uh, fence gate in the middle. I don't think it's actually yoinking it down. I don't think it kicks in yet. So... We need one more here. And then we need a different form of activation around here. Okay, here's my idea. What is my idea? Um, my idea is... Just thinking how this works. Almost perfect. Almost per. I guess. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can make this work. So, let's grab redstone dust, right? In fact, we might not even want these on delays anymore. Actually, no, yeah, I think we do. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Check this out. What we're going to do is put the block there. Is that going to pull them out of the water? They ain't spawning in there. They're not in this one either. They're all down here. Oh, I've got to kill all the fishies. Where is that command in my memory? I see it. Bam. Kill all the fishies. No, don't be spawning over here. Okay. I need some sponge now, don't I? Sponge. Sponge, laddie. Come on. It's sucking them down. It's got to. Hey. Oh, you jumped back out of there, you cheeky devil. Right, I think we need one more thing here. I can see where the issue is. Uh, can I set block right here? A fence gate? Is that no? Oak. Open. True. I think we need that there. Oh, that means we need it at this level as well. So, 24. I don't know. I don't think it's helping. Ah. What do you think, peeps? This is Torture says RBBSS30. Yeah, you know, figuring out how to do farms is slow. I wouldn't call it torture, it's kind of fun, but. Not really sure this is having the effect we want. Why don't you place the fence gates every other block in the water column? That way they can swim down but not back up, says Elizabeth. Interesting idea. Interesting idea. Let's take. I guess we'll take this one. Right, let's, let's try that one next. So we're going to go all the way over here. Probably a little bit further would be a good idea. Going to grab that structure block. Uh, did it remember the correct one? Let's go load. We're loading up the special. And we're going to remove all of this then. What other modification did we make to it? We added in... We added in... Hmm. Well, I'm wondering, do we need that pillar in the middle? I don't think we need the pillar in the middle. Oh, we're missing the, uh, we're missing the special. 
We don't have the special activated properly over here, do we? Let's go put it in. This is now part of the farm, peeps. That's part of the farm. Right, okay, so we don't worry about that. So I think what would make the most sense is probably to grab the axe. Okay, punch that out. Uh, yeah. Okay, what am I looking at? So... Expand. 20. Stack 1. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't, you know, we can do about... Oh! I guess the deal is... No, no, no. They should be good. They should be good in the middle. They'll fall all the way to the water at the bottom. So now, now we got like 9 instead of 8. Okay, so then what we're going to do is take this and let's say we stack it by 4. Uh, let's try 6. Got 2 at the top there. Let's go for 7. Although we know that's roughly like no AI. So we'll call this one down. We'll call it down. Oh no, fishies need like three or two heights of water. I think they need three. Dang it, why did I not thought of that earlier? I think they need I think they need three high. I mean they literally need three high. So it's one block higher like that. I think that's what you'd have to do. Let's see what happens, you know. <laughs> Loads of redstone just pops out everywhere. Okay, I kind of need sponges. Okay, then we need to kill things in the world. Kill, 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 kill. Bam. Spectator mode. Right, here we go. Here we go. Is this the best design we've had yet? That is the question. Where are the fishies spawning? They're spawning at the top. Their only way is down, right? Hey! No, he went back up! Who's, who told me that they could... Oh, these people in chat. They're lying to me. Look, he did it again. It's showing off. They're yeah, lying to me. Well, we would have to sacrifice a lot of spawn space. We would have to sacrifice a lot of spawn space, wouldn't we? Okay. Uh, so, what if we were to go... Yeah, so now now we're like, you know, really drastically reducing, which might not be the worst thing ever if it does produce good results, but we are really... Oh, here's the thing. Don't they need free high to spawn? Right, will they even spawn in this farm now? They can't even spawn. Can't even spawn. Back to the drawing boards. Back to the drawing boards. So, we're going to go to here. No, we're going to start here and go up by one. Okay, then we're going to go back down to this space. And we need it to be three high. Replace the air with water. And then we need to stack that. See, now we've gone like, now we're outside the height for the AI to work. So we'd be looking at literally four, three pools of water doing it this way. We can't add the one at the top. Sadly.
Okay, we're just going to overwrite the previous one. So this is going to be called down again. Whoa. Right, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to load. And then we need to get rid of all the uh, water. Then we need to kill everything. Go into spectator mode. Did the kill work? Yeah, it did. Okay, there we go. We've got one little spawn. It goes up. It goes up. Go down. Go down, buddy. It's not a lot of spawning space, unfortunately. They go down. They can't. It went back up through two. Who are these liars? Who are these liars in chat? Oh, oh, put a gap between it. Oh, yeah, no, no. The gap's supposed to be two. I know everything. Mr. Backseat Gamer with all the answers. Oh, you lot. You think I'm an idiot. You're calling me the derp. Well, I'm trying your ideas and they are failing. They are failing. Oh, look at that failure. Oh, it stinks. Oh, jeez. Get your failure out of this room. Oh, oh, free gaps, they said. No, no, there will not be free gaps. Let's do it very crudely. Uh, let's go. Uh, and then here to there. You know, that's... Oh, oh, straight down it went. <laughs> Straight down it went. Alright, come on. Let's get some spawns. We've got to kill stuff. Then we'll get spawns. Any spawns? Put a 256 block gap. It'll work, apparently. Okay. Oh, it teased us. The one thing that spawned. Oh, it's the go fall, fall! I tell thee, I tell thee to fall, please. Oh, oh, magic! It, it just sort of looks like they're in the fence gate area, but really they're not. Dude, what, what's up with the spawns though? Like, okay, so we got you, right? For oh, okay. Apparently there's water here. It fell down. It went back. It went back up through three. Oh, oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, none of you do your research. None of you do your research. Oh my goodness me. Oh, these people in chat, backseat gaming, can't even be bothered to open up a test world and make a farm before they make their suggestion. That is just unacceptable. Oh. Imagine if the world was run like this, eh? If people just went, oh, you know, just stick a fork in the plug, plug socket in your wall and turn it on. Let's see what happens. Please, peeps, don't, don't put a fork in your plug socket and turn it on. Do not do that. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. I'm, cer I'm certifying this. I've done that experiment myself. It really hurts. Don't do it. But the point I'm trying to make is, isn't it great... That the people that run the world, who are not you, okay, they don't just go around going, oh, let's just put forks in the wall. Let's just put a fork in the plug socket and turn it on. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. So, after all the things we tried, I think just having the tank and nine makes sense. You know, it might, it might be a good idea to... Uh, to do like, hmm, let's come back over here, okay. What do I want to do? Let's go, hmm. Okay, I'm going to replace the air with water. Then I think I'll stack it. One, two, three, four, five. So, actually, it's stack four, isn't it? Four for five, right? Now, from here to one, two, three, four, let's find out if they can if they can jump the gap. 
Now that puts the water right up at the no AI area, but we're uh, we're still experimenting. Let's call this one uh, down one. Okay, and then we'll load down one over here. Okay, now we got it in the right spot. Uh, let's also go over here and do some removal. Place the water with the air. Let's kill everything in the world. And then let's jump into spectator mode. Right, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Can they do a gap of four? Go down, good sirs. Go down. Down, I tell thee. We got Rafina22221. Two, 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 oh my god! What? That is a gap of five blocks. That is mental. Uh, Rafina, thank you for the Prime subscription. Appreciate it. What is going on here? That is unbelievable. No! No! <laughs> Do you see how high back up it went? Wow. Well, I'm interested to see what Nembomb thinks of this. Um, we've sussed out how to do all the d stuff down the bottom. That's good. That's good news. I'd then have to build a whole collection system. I think I'm going to focus on getting pufferfish buckets out of this, right? Maybe use that in a mini game or something fun. Um, then we've got... You know, then we've got this monstrosity up here to figure out. But I think this bottom bit is a good idea. Yeah. Might want to do a bug report. Yeah. Jeez. But all those people in chat. Cheeky. Cheeky chaps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peeps. What we got a little while longer. What would you like to what would you like to talk about? What are your questions? Because uh, I think I'm good with this. If you want to pick up this design and experiment with it yourself, if you've seen everything in the video, feel free to uh, mess about with it. Gonna gonna build this on Hermitcraft, no doubt. It's gonna be interesting to figure out the rates. Also, if I'm doing this like when no one else is online, oh, there's an idea. What if I had a tripwire hook set up for here? I'm just thinking, like, maybe... Hmm, actually, it's probably going to be bad because the fishies will find their way onto the top of the chest. I was just wondering, an another thing you might want here is a way to detect that the fishies are here and use that to... Look at that face. <laughs> to, um, to control this. So, if other players are online and no fishies are spawning, then... We might have an issue where I'm just literally filling up water buckets. So then it's like, how how can we, you know, do something? Yeah, do something with that. I don't know. Some sort of like override. Make sure we're using them when there's actually fish there. Can you waterlog a pressure plate? Dang. I think you can't, but I want to know. I want to know. Yeah, you can't. Boo. <laughs> We got a donation here from Angry K9 asking me not to read on stream. Okay, dude. My friend, I hope you have been cheered up. I appreciate the donation. I hope you've been entertained and it's taking your mind off of things, my dude. Thank you for the support over the years. And, uh,. Yeah, I'm not going to say too much because you, you asked me not to read it on stream, right? So uh, I won't say anything else. But thank you, man. And uh, yeah, you you know, time will pass. I'm sure you'll figure it out. And uh, as you know, like I say, there's always brighter days ahead, right? Every time you every time you hit a low, there's there's a there's a high somewhere in front of it. Have a magma block. Go around the horizontal loop. Have it slowly so the fish are pulled out. Don't get hit by a spawn. Noza, if you want to build it and make it work, feel free to do so. As I pointed out, having a magma block in this setup is uh, a little bit on the tricky side, right? Also, how would you make it go around in a circle? Like, you could could you make a piston tape inside of there? Like with pistons have a gap somewhere that's the problem you'd have a gap which might not be the worst thing ever 
But then you'd have fence gates, right? So then you'd slowly push it right. Yeah, I guess it could be done, you know? It could be done. It's a really interesting idea, actually. Feed tape. <laughs> it's so interesting that maybe... Peeps, should, I, should we keep the stream going a little bit longer? Let's uh, let's mess around with that idea for a second. I think that would be fun to experiment with real quick. Alright. This one's on me. Extra long stream. Oh, X. Oh, X. You're giving us five minutes. Five minutes extra. Jeez, I, I try to turn it into a joke. It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh, shut up. Okay. Uh... Right, so we've got that going on. Terrific. So, we have to build it at this height here. We're going to do away with that stuff up top later on. So, we got to put... No! <laughs> Need my magic stick. Ah! What have I done? I've ruined it! Okay, there we go. It's, it's, it's unruined all of a sudden. We need that. Then we need another one here. And another one there. And another one there. Right, bam. So, goes that way. Uh, 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 uh. Keep rotating them. Dang. Right. Now, we need... Hmm. Almost everything. Yeah, almost everything again. So, I kind of want to select the inside. Oh, it's always annoying trying to do this, right? If I jump in spectator, go here. Oh, look at that. It's all open down the bottom. Okay, so we're going to go like that. Then we're going to uh, stack by one. However, the one in the middle doesn't actually need to be here. So, we've got downwards flowing water there. Okay. Now, we need to replace one of these with a magma block. And also have a gap somewhere. Okay. So that's going to be the first one. Oh, no, wait a minute. When it pushes there, I guess... No, 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 it will work. Okay, so that's where we have the hole. All right, all right. I haven't done something like this in a long time, by the way. So, uh... Be interesting to see what happens. Right, so this one needs to fire. Boom. Boom. Then this one, then that one, then this one. In theory, I could potentially just have... In fact, I think I'm going to do this the laziest way I can think of. And it's going to be amazing. So we shall put in repeaters. Actually, this is probably not going to be enough delay, really. But it could at least be a proof of concept, perhaps. Actually, no, it's plenty of delay because the magma block gets to sit in the same spot. Okay, let's put those on the corner. Let's put our dust on top of the blocks behind the pistons. And then fill the rest up with repeaters, right? Am I doing anything wrong yet? I don't think I am. They've just got to fire in. The, the real problem is probably the stop and start process. Like when... When you control the uh, circuit from when you first turn it on, you need it to stop in, in a way that it can get turned on again. So we're not going to use anything below this. Uh, also, we need to now take that and stack it by like four, probably. Oh no, not enough. Okay, and I think, yeah, that, that height's pretty much good enough. Right. Yeah, okay. So we're going to call this one Magma. Well, let's call it Tape. Let's call it Tape. So we shall save Tape here. I uh, don't actually need to do that, do I? I'm going to load Tape over on this side. That's not Tape. Load it. Uh-huh. Right, the first one that needs to fire is this one here. Here's how we're going to do it. Actually, it's not the way I want to do it, funny enough. I want to do it over here. So we get the right pulse then. It immediately failed. I love that. So uh, what idiotic thing did I get wrong? 
Uh, probably a lot of things, right? Like, uh, let's let's just reload it quickly. You know, we can do that, fortunately. Um, apparently, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. So, it goes to there. That's full. Yep. So, I guess that one needs to be not actually a thing. Right. Taking screenshots. Does it need a hole in each corner? Like, there's another possibility. Stuff gets killed in here. So it goes across to there. Those two go across to there. Yeah. It goes across to there. You need a gap in each corner. Back in. Back when I was a youngin, you didn't need a gap in each corner. Jeez. Well, this thing is ready to go, I believe. Alright, no reason not to fire it up. Let's see what happens. I think you could make... Oh, no, it's... Weird. It got pushed across quite a bit for a couple of times. Yeah, it tends to sit... It tends to park itself, and then it gets moved. Interesting. It's like the gaps behind it are all sort of catching up. So it never really sits in a corner, does it? This is probably like some sort of really inefficient feed tape that I've made. <laughs> Someone in chat's probably screaming right now, like, no, you've done it wrong. They were spawning behind me, by the way. Yeah, look, they're going in that space. I don't know about the feed tape. Magma goes clockwise, signal goes counterclockwise. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that now. Either way, um, why are they all in that one? Why are you all in that one? Should They should be good at going over there, right? Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something here. Don't know what's going on there. Doesn't like that column. Whatever. I uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to wrap it up there, peeps. All right. We, we tried it. it. It definitely failed, right? It definitely failed. That was a colossal failure. Peeps, be sure to hit the follow button here on Twitch if you enjoyed the stream. I'll be streaming again sometime tomorrow, probably in the morning. Going to do something different, most likely. Most likely quite different. Okay, we're going to go raid XB, who's doing some vanilla Minecraft. Peeps, thank you so much for watching. Hit the hit the follow button, hit the raid button, and uh, thank you to all of my patrons. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.